Hey guys, welcome to Rippin' Retro, where every week I try to open up a box of football cards from the 1990s. So if you like the 90s and you like football, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, hit that bell. Uh, last week we did 1996 score select. There's quite a bit of inserts in there. It was really nice. A couple of really good uh, parallels. This week we're going to do my personal favorite that uh, was the very first set that I completed when I was a kid, actually. It's 1993 Fleer. This has got a little bit of uh, sentimental value. But um, it was a really nice set. I thought I, I liked the design. Uh, the inserts, there's four inserts. There was the All Pro, the Rookies, the, the Steve Young insert, and I believe, I can't remember what the fourth one was, but, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, inserts weren't that uh, easy to get, actually. So uh, let's get into this, shall we? Ninety-three was actually one of my favorite years to collect. Uh, it was the year that Drew Bledsoe was drafted. It was the year that Jerome Bettis, Hall of Famer, was drafted. Maybe we can get his rookie card. Uh, one of the downsides to Fleer in the early years was they weren't really good on rookies. There were not really rookies in the base set. So only time you're gonna get a rookie is if you get the kind of hard to find rookie subset. There are odds on here. Uh, yeah, uh, nope, just odds on the Steve Young stuff, there's, a, there's actually a chance to get a Steve Young autograph, which would be insane, but that would be great to get. So that's the pack, it's a wax pack, I love it, let's get going. Right off the bat, it's Dan Marino, good start. I'm just going to say names of, uh, big players when we hit them, Steve Atwater, and then when we get to a award winner's Carl Pickens, one of my dudes, alright, and when we get to a insert, of course, I'll stop there too. Oh my god, this pack's not going to open for me. I have claws for this. LT, Deion Sanders League Leaders. Steve Young himself, Jeff George, Barry, I think I'm going to open the pack and look at the cards, Jane Novacek, one of my favorite tight ends from the 90's, Clay Matthews, we do have an insert in this pack, we're looking at Nick Lowry, all pro. Gotta love kicker, kicker uh, inserts. I love kicker cards, so I don't say that mockingly. I actually am a, a fan of the kickers. Not nearly hitting that back. Not even stars. Uh, like I said, this is the first. Uh, Thurman. This is the first set that Warren Moon that I actually, as a kid, tried to finish. I th I I did finish the uh, base set. Never got all the inserts, but I did finish base set of this, and it took me a while of going to local shops and buying these packs and trading with my siblings and my neighbors and my dad but I did get the entire base set and I was proud of that I don't know what happened to it over the years but this is me trying to regain it uh, never really completed the subsets though It would be really nice to get that ooh, Carl Pickens base. Got both Carl Pickens from this set. Nice. Uh, really nice to get a Steve Young autograph, but uh, I have never seen the Steve Young autograph in person. 
Never seen anybody pull it. Come on, Mac. There, finally. Um, oh, there's something in this pack. It's backwards. Curtis Conway, Fleer Rookie. 1993 Team Prospect is what they were called. Nothing else going in that pack. But yeah, I've never seen anybody pull that Steve Young rookie. I've never seen this rookie, this Steve Young autograph. Never seen the autograph, but they're there. They're out there. Andre Bad Moon Rising. And I'm dropping cards all over the place. But yeah, when this, if you put the set in a, in a binder, the design of the cards actually really pops when you get a bunch of them in a row. Edgar Bennett. Aeneas Williams, Hall of Famer. Andre Reed, the art card. There's a bunch of, there's a few art cards that are uh, in the set. They're some of the last numbers of the base set, I believe. Right off the bat, an insert. That's weird. But Cortez Kennedy. Cortez Kennedy All Pro. Richmond Webb. He was a really good player from the 90s. Don't think he's ever Hall of Fame bound, but. If there was a Hall of Fame for just the decade, like an all-decade team, he'd make it. Joe Montana traded to the Chiefs. I used to love those little, uh, instead of, because they didn't have, uh, photos of players in their new jerseys, and there was no, you know, good uh, way of showing them their jerseys before they had pictures of them in the jerseys. Uh, they just had a little signed with the Broncos, or the Browns, Benito Saverdi. Little little thing in the corner there saying, hey, this, this dude was traded. Moon again. Moon again. I would really like to get the, uh, I would really like to get the, um, Bettis rookie, but, uh, it's only a short, well, kind of, in a way, a short print rookie because the inserts were not that easy to get, but there is no base card rookie for him, so we gotta get the, uh, like that Conway that I got, we gotta get one of those, and I believe there's only two or three of those in a box, so... Yeah, that's going to be a little bit on the tough side, but uh, I'm going to get it, right? Of course I am. You make a video of something, you get what you want. Carl Banks, Barry Foster. We are cruising through this, making a good time. Reggie White, the actual Reggie White, not Reggie E. White. There's a Steve Young insert. Not an autograph, but there's a Steve Young insert. There's, uh, I think, nine of them or ten of them in the set. Every year for a while, Fleer did one star performance highlights. Uh, 92, it was one of my favorite players, Mark Rippin. Wait, no, 91 was Mark Rippin. 91 was Mark Rippin. 92 was... What was 92? Is it Reggie White? That was the Ultra version. I can't remember who 92 was, but... Yeah, in Clear Ultra, they had uh, Reggie White. Barry Sanders again. J. 
Okay, no jet. And I, for one, am not against, you know, decks having a bunch of lining cards. I think, I think people should, players should get, uh, if, you, if you started, you should have had uh, at least one card in your career. Uh, Audrey McMillan League Leader. Uh, you should at least have one card in your career, I mean. I think you earned it. So, I don't mind getting Lyman. I think I'd rather have a set have a bunch of Lyman than, you know, six different Tom Brady's in, in a set. Give all the guys a chance, man. Eric Swan, that's a Hall of Famer. We got something in this one. Another Steve Young. The exact same Steve Young I already got. Now, you know, that's not cool. Two of the same Steve Youngs. Let's see, get rid of these actually this time. If it gets a better, I'm just going to show it to you. Don't need to prop up two different Steve Youngs. Performance highlights because they're cool cards right now. Got something on this one. It looks like an all pro. Nope, rookie. Leonard Renfro, rookie. Ricky Waters. One of my, one of my uh, players to collect. Dave Craig, Warren Moon, Daryl Talley. Yeah, this 93 was a year where uh, there was finally an influx of a little bit of running back depth in the, in the NFL because uh, up to this point there's only two or three, four running backs that were really hitting it big. Uh, this year brought us uh, both, of course, the bus and... Uh, Garrison Hurst, who had a really good career. After this, there was like a, a, a really good influx of uh, running backs. There's still a whole bunch of quarterbacks that were just on fire. Oh, we got something in this one. Looks like a, I'm going to say All-Pro again. Andre Art card again. Oh, let's see a rookie. Natron Means rookie. Speaking of running backs this year, Natron Means was a really fun running back for the Chargers to watch in the 90s. Really like the card, actually. It's like my favorite card so far. Like Conley was okay. Conley was a really good for, or wider, wide receiver for the Bears for a while there. Rich Camarillo. We got something this one. Steve Young. Is it the same? Ooh, look at that card. That is just torn up. Wow, that is awful. A different Steve Young performance highlights, which is really cool because getting a third of the same one in a row would not be cool. Ninety-three was also the year where we uh, were solidly in the um, Cowboys dynasty. So Cowboys cards were really big. Emmitt Smith was huge. Troy Aikman was huge. Michael Irvin was huge. Even even players that uh, weren't really that good, I guess you could say, were huge. Like uh, uh, what's his face? Other wide receiver there. It has name in my mind, and I completely lost. Elvin Harper. Even he was huge there for a little while. But uh, going to the car shop was a lot different back then. Like, uh, I mean, they did have like Elvin Harper cards in the case. I mean, the Elvin Harper rookie would have been sitting there in a case ready to get bought 
Whereas nowadays, something like that, you would not see a number two wide receiver really being showcased. Who do we got? Irv Smith, rookie. Getting a lot of those rookies, which is cool. Not any of the good ones, except for uh, Conway and Natron. But, uh, it's cool. I, I actually wouldn't, wouldn't mind a Rick Meyer. I think his, his, uh, legacy is, is, a, is, um, misunderstood because he didn't do the greatest after his rookie year, but you get put behind that Seattle offensive line in the, in the early 90s and see if you did go, do good. I mean, he had the skill, he had the talent. It just was a sad situation for him. In my mind, he's like Tim Couch, you know? He had all the skill in the world. He didn't waste it. He didn't uh, really underperform. It was just that you don't have the people around you to, to guide you in that, man. Not going to succeed. Oh, we got something in this one. It looks like it's uh, either a Steve Young or an All-Pro. Dion again. All-Pro. Henry Jones. The Buffalo Bills. It's a really good one for here in Western New York. Hope some people that are watching that from around here see that and go, Hey, I remember that guy. Not when it comes to stars, Howie Long, Hall of Famer, Frank Reich, current coach of the Indianapolis Colts. As my camera took a dive, there's only three packs left though, so this is going to be a little, a little hitter here. Jim Kelly. Uh, yeah, my camera just took a dive. I'm going to have to uh, edit some choice words out of that. <laughs> Two more packs, all right. So, get one more rookie in these two packs, that would be nice. I mean, one more rookie, maybe a Stars All-Pro. No more Steve Youngs, please. Got three, though. I mean, I would take another one if it, was, if it was different. Cortez Kennedy, Hall of Famer. Eric Swan, Hall of Famer. Reggie White, Hall of Famer. All right, last pack. Let's get something good. Let's get greedy. Let's get, let's get out. Oh, there is a rookie in it. I'm not going to look at that. You probably saw it, but I'm not going to look at it. Here at the bat. The very first card. Alright. So the last card is going to be a hit. And we're looking at... Garrison Hurst. There we go. The number, the second best running back to come out of that. Nice. Garrison Hurst. Clear rookie to end the video. I like it. Um, you look at it, we got... The Garrison Hurst rookie, Earth Smith rookie, Natron Means, Leonard Renfro, and Curtis Conway rookie. Uh, when it comes to all pros, we got Henry Jones and oh, and Cortez Kennedy and Nick Lowry. And we got three of the uh, Steve Youngs and two of the same ones. All right, that's the video. If you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a like. Please give me a subscribe. Thumbs up and likes are the same thing. So do it twice. Go for it. I'll see you guys next week.